Okay, here we are at Ferrari's Fiorano test circuit. Fernando Alonso's on the left, I'm on the right, and as we approach the second corner, it's neck and neck in these identical Ferrari 458 Italias. Alonso gets on the power way more quickly than me though and springs out of the corner, drifting around the track, unleashing the car's 562 brake horsepower. By turn five, he's already ahead by a couple of car lengths. Let's bring me level so we can have an easier comparison of the next sector and carry on with the rest of the lap. There's a bit of a straight towards turn six, which is a tight hairpin, but by the time I'm at the start of the bridge, Fernando's already a third of the way along, showing a lot more confidence next to that armco. Clearly what we have here is a man that can easily afford the repair bills if he crashes. We'll bring me level again, but the world champion breaks so much later than I do at the end of the bridge. I'm no chicken, but I'm doing 85 miles an hour through what is quite a tight right-hander, and Fernando's just braver, faster, and more committed. At turn nine, he's several car lengths ahead. It's slightly embarrassing, but let's bring me forward so we can have our side-by-side -side comparison. As we exit turn nine, Alonso stomps on the power early, generating wheel spin and a bucket load of oversteer, which he corrects with some opposite lock. The champion's showing off here while I maintain a more smooth driving style. One corner later, he's pulled out another slight lead. Fernando is slightly off the racing line here. He's actually made a mistake and positioned his car in the center of the track. We'll pull me level and watch how our different approaches play out. Right here, Fernando has to fight the steering wheel while my smoothness allows me to stay with him through this section. We're close at turn 12, leaving us with a bit of a drag race towards the finish. Again, Alonso smashes the pedal early and corrects any oversteer with a bucket load of opposite lock and begins to pull away. But what's this? Alonso is slowing down. Maybe he has mechanical failure. It looks like he's pulling into the pits, leaving me to storm ahead and over the finish line in a 135.018. Alonso, by the time he pulls down the line in the pit lane, has managed a 138.060. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner, courtesy of Fernando Alonso deciding to abandon his lap and not really trying that much in the first place, is me. Yeah! <laughs> what?